I've made more friends here than I have in LA just being on a shoot. So it um, says a lot about Oklahoma. And uh, the house, it was a really, it was a breath of fresh air to actually work in at a real house because usually they're sets. You never get to believe in the magic. There's always the lights and you look up and there's a studio and the wall ends. And, um, but this in between scenes, you could kind of sit there and look around and almost imagine that this is real. And I, I do that uh, quite a lot. And to see Julia walking in and out of the room or to see Ewan sitting in the corner reading the newspaper, it's kind of surreal. And I think the house as a character, um, just with the set decoration and what the crew did with it and the details that they put into it, I think it's gonna really speak for itself when the movie comes out. Uh, I call him Teddy Ruxpin. He's a walking teddy bear and he kind of looks like a teddy bear too, but he has, I've, I've never seen him angry. Um, I know he's, although it's been difficult with the weather and whatnot, I've never seen him frazzled. And that says a lot about him as a director. And uh, before I came here, I knew his work from TV, of course, and uh, getting to come in to read and having him call from the, the other movie I was doing on set, um, just the excitement is what I remember. And when I got the part, I was actually driving uh, from Montana to LA and I just wrapped a film with Benicio Del Toro. So it's kind of one of those moments like Meryl Streep, John Wells just finished with Benicio. My life's changing. And I, I'm, I'm really glad that it's with a director as nice, as kind and as giving as John Wells. She's the smartest, most mature and deepest soul that I, I could never have imagined. And watching her grow up on screen, I was really, I didn't know what to expect coming into this. I wasn't sure um, exactly how to approach her, but she's completely down to earth. Fantastic actress, amazing. Um, she's fun. And when she's not being a 40-year-old woman on film, in between she's a giggling 16-year-old poet. And it was, a, it was a dream to work with her as well.